everyone welcome back to my channel Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to make a super simple beginner friendly granny square with five points like the one that I have here. So first of all I'm not going to start off with the same color. I'm going to start off with a little bit different of a color. So maybe I will start off with the I pulled my yarn through the other side. Maybe I'll start off with I don't know. Maybe I'll start off with the I don't know. What do, you, what do you think? Maybe I'll start off with this color. Yeah, this is the color I'm going to start off with. So I'm making lots of pink. So you can either um, chain two and then work in the first chain from your hook or you can um, work in a magic ring. So I'm going to work in the magic ring, but if you work better with chaining two, then you can do that. And if you don't know how to do a magic ring, I have a video on that too. So I'm just going to work my magic ring and I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do three double crochets in my or two double crochets in my ring so now I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three more double crochets in my magic ring I'm going to chain two again. I'm going to do three more double crochets in my magic ring. I've got one, two, three sets of three, so I'm going to chain two again. I'm going to work three more double crochets in my magic ring. Now I'm going to chain two again, and I'm going to work three more double crochets in my magic ring. So I want a total of five double crochet, five sets of three double crochets in my magic ring is what I'm going for. So this will be my last set. This and I'm going to chain two. And so you see here how I've got three or five sets of three. So there's one and then a chain two. There's two and another chain two. There's three and another chain two. Four and another chain two. And then the first one we started with five. So here I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that first um, chain two that we made when we started with. And I'm going to pull my magic ring closed. So I'm going to tighten my magic ring here. I'm going to pull this to the middle there. So I pulled that tail to the middle, by the way. And so I'm just going to pull on that tail again until it's really nice and tight. And then I'm going to um, cut my pink yarn. And I'm going to switch my color. So I'm just going to fasten this off. Pull it to the back and I like to tie mine and work mine in both so I will be doing both so the next color I want to do is I think I'm going to do my variegated color next so we're going to start in one of the chain two spaces here so we're just going to attach our yarn to one of the chain two spaces and again we're going to chain two and then we're going to work two double crochets into that space now we're going to chain one 
we're going to move to our next chain two space and in that space we're going to work three double crochets we're going to chain two and then we're going to work three more double crochets Now we're going to chain one and we're going to go to our next chain two space. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to work three double crochets in that chain two space. And then we're going to chain two and then we're going to work three more double crochets in that chain two space. And then we're going to chain one. And we're going to go to our next chain two space. So we're going to work three double crochets in that next chain two space. We're going to chain two. And then we're going to work three more double crochets in that last chain two space. Now we're going to chain one. We're going to go to our next chain two space. So we're going to work the three double crochets and then that next chain two space. We're going to chain two. And then we're going to work three more double crochets in that chain two space. Now we're going to chain one again and we're going back to that chain two space we started with. So now I'm just going to work three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to slip stitch to that first double crochet or actually the first chain two space that I made. And I'm going to tie this color off and I'm going to go on to the next color. Should have left that one a little bit longer so I could work it in better, but oh well, that's okay. All right. So now from here, I'm going to go on to, here, let's see, this pink right here. This looks nice. All right, so again, I'm going to start in one of those chain two spaces. And I'm just going to chain two, just like we've been doing. And I'm going to do two double crochets in that chain two space. And then I'm going to chain one. In that chain one space we had from before, I'm just going to work three double crochets in that space. Now I'm going to chain one again. I'm going to go to that next um, space we have. So that's a chain two space. So I'm going to work three double crochets in that chain two space. I'm going to chain two, then I'm going to work three more double crochets in that space. Now I'm going to chain one, and in that chain one space from before, I'm going to work three double crochets in that space. Then I'm going to chain one and then the chain two space from before. I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing. So I'm going to work three double crochets. Then I'm going to chain two. Then I'm going to work three more double crochets in that space.
Now I'm going to chain one, and then in the chain one space from before, I'm just going to work three double crochets in that space. I'm going to chain one again. In the next chain two space, I'm going to work three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to work three more double crochets. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to work three double crochets in that chain one space from the last row. I'm going to chain one again. And in that chain two space, again, I'm going to work three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to work three more double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one again, and I'm going to work three double crochets in the um, single crochet space from the last row. Now I'm going to chain one again. I'm going back to that. Um, first chain two space that we started in. I'm going to work three double crochets. And I'm going to chain two. Then I'm going to slip stitch to the first um, chain two that we made there, the one that counted as a double crochet. So I'm just going to slip stitch to that if I can get it. There we go. Now I'm going to cut this yarn off and I'm going to go to our next one. Alright, so now on this one I did one, two, three, four rows. So this one's got three rows so far. So we have one more row to go. So I think what I'm going to do is with this one I repeated this the second row with the last row. So maybe I'll go ahead and do that again. That might be fun. Alright, that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now we just attach our yarn again into the um, chain two space. It doesn't matter. I could start here. I could start there. Heck, maybe I will start here so it's not the same exact place. So you can start really anywhere that you want. So again, I'm just going to chain two and I'm going to do two double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do three double crochets in the uh, chain three spot from the previous round. And guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really mean the world to me. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to do three double crochets in the next chain one space. I'm going to chain one again. And then I'm at the chain two spot. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do three double crochets and then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three more double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain one space from our previous round.
I'm going to chain one. Again, three double crochets in the chain one space from our previous round. Going to chain one. And then I'm at a corner now, so I'm in the corners. I'm going to do three double crochets. And then I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to do three more double crochets all in that chain two space from our previous round. I'm going to chain one now in the chain one space from our previous round. Again, I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain one. And in the chain one space again from our previous round, I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain one again. And in that um, top space, so the chain two space again, I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to do three more double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go in the next chain one space from our previous round. I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain one again. Then I'm going to go to the next chain one space from our previous round and I'm going to do three double crochets. I'm going to chain one again and in our next chain two space I'm going to do three double crochets. chain two and then I'm going to do three more double crochets in that same stitch. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go to our, my next chain one space and I'm going to do three double crochets. And I'm going to chain one again. I'm going to go to the next chain one space from the previous round and do three more double crochets. Alright, I'm going to chain one again and now I'm back again where I started. So I'm going to do three double crochets in that corner there, the chain two space. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the first um, chain two that I made. And then I'm going to tie this off. Here you go guys, here is your five points there. Now this might do well with some blocking I would think, so you might want to just wet it down and kind of stretch it out so it keeps the form that you want. Um, and pretty much what we're doing with this, just so um, you know, so every time we have a chain two space, you're making, you're doing um, three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. And then every time you have a chain one space, you're just working three double crochets into that space. Um, that way you know where your points are. So your points are always those chain two spaces, guys. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a like, make a comment, and um, happy hooking, everybody.